Welcome, welcome gamers to another episode of the I Have No Idea What I'm Doing channel, where I am in the middle of series, and I have no idea what to post for content, so I'm doing whatever I can to come up with stupid ideas to entertain you. My face is very blurry. Ah, That's what motion blur will do to your game. Also, don't mind the wither. I've definitely shot this video multiple times and accidentally had voice changers on. Anyways, on to the first command. Oh yeah, did I mention this was a tier list video for commands? Yeah, I know the trend is dead. I'm doing it anyways. Starting off with the most popular command of all time. Slash. Kill. We've all done it at some point. It's the absolute most simple command that you could possibly do. If you've done this, you're a true OG of Minecraft and you know what you're doing. It's going in the E. It's going, it's, it's, it's going in the E rank. It has not much of a use to be honest. It's just it's kind of pointless. It's going in D. It's not all that entertaining. It's useful, but it's not all that entertaining. All right, next up is the teleport command. This command is kind of pretty useful. You've probably heard of it before. It teleports you. Wow, big surprise. If you're using this command, you're probably using it to go somewhere. Once again, big surprise. We'll put it in the B category because it is pretty useful and I do use it often. And it's not all that interesting, which is the only reason it won't go in an A or an S. All right, next up is the game mode command. You know what? No, I'm not even going to type this one in. Use F3, F4, you absolute nerds. Even before 116, there's still F3N, which puts you in spectator and swaps you back to whatever game mode you were in. The game mode command is pointless, and you will not convince me otherwise. It's going in the F category. Disclaimer, yes, it was useful before F3N and F3F4 existed. I make the rules here. This video is for 116. All right, the next command I actually didn't even have in my list, but then I remembered to add it just now, because as you may or may not have seen in that last clip, for the millionth time while taking cuts and recordings of this video, the weather was changed, so I'm going to take the weather command, and it's going to go in the A tier, because it's not interesting at all, but you know it is the command I have used most while recording this video, whether you like it or not. And yes, I know game world commands exist. Yes, I tried. For some reason, this world is refusing to let the command work. Next up, slash give. This command is completely pointless, except for a few minor options, such as unobtainable blocks, which I think should be in the creative inventory anyways, because if you're in creative, you should have access to all of the blocks. That's kind of the point of the creative inventory. Other options may include things such as custom items in any different way to change the data of them, which you could not do even in creative mode Minecraft, as anvils and the enchant command do not support things such as that. Speaking of unobtainable items, however, one of the things you can do with this that does make it useful is the slash give barrier i can spell this block may not be a command within itself however i would say it's super useful and this is my tier list so i get to decide what goes on it even if it doesn't really have anything to do with the topic this is going in the c tier because it's cool and you can use it in a lot of creative builds and maps next command slash help you have no idea what you're doing in the game it may be useful to new players However, in my opinion, it's not exciting or useful to more than 75% of people playing Minecraft. Therefore, it's going in the D category. Deal with it. This is my video. Okay, next command. Slash clear. This command is for lazy people, like me. I don't like to organize my inventory when I'm working in creative, so instead of trying to organize the items, I just completely get rid of them, even though I need 75% of what's in my inventory. I'd say this command isn't very exciting, but it's pretty useful at times, so I'm going to put it right in the middle at a C. Next up, the fill command. This is a command that you use if you like to... Okay, I messed it up. Forgot to actually define what block. This command is used if you like trolling your friends and spamming large quantities of TNT, or if you're a builder and you don't know how to install mods or plugins to have world edit in your world. The user interface of this is absolute garbage. I would never recommend it. So this is going in a D. This is down to my preference, however, because I do know how to install WorldEdit, 
and I pretty much always have it installed no matter what server or single player world I'm on. As you can see, I can grab a wand and quickly turn it into stone rather than having to use coordinates and things like the fill command. Next up, the set block command. This command is the little brother of the fill command, except even less useful. It's a single coordinate block command, and it places one block. If you plan on building with this, don't. It places one block. It's useful if you need a reference point and you don't want to build a massive tower in creative to build in the sky. However, it's one block, and you can still do it with world edit. This is going in the D category as well. Next up, this is another iteration of the give command. However, it gives you your head. This is quite possibly one of my favorite things in the game. It's not super useful, however, it is nice for decorations and things if you don't have a plugin or something that does it for you like we do in some of the SMPs. Overall, this isn't going to get the highest rating as it is not the most useful thing and there are other alternatives. However, it is quite useful and pretty well implemented in the game. I'll give it a C. Next up is yet another iteration of the give command, the OP items command. This, if you're, if you're using this command, you are 100% trolling. There is absolute zero reason to have this in a game unless you're trolling or cheating. It is so, so very overpowered. Exhibit A, this wither. That wither is gone. That wither does not exist anymore. These things are so powerful and should not exist. It's almost completely useless in really any given scenario, especially if you play survival Minecraft like me. However, just by the sheer amount of laughter I get out of using these things, it's going in the A tier. Oh, hey, by the way, I forgot I have bleeping button. No, I didn't actually say anything, I just like having the button, it's funny. Next up is the replace item command. This thing, this thing is quite possibly one of my favorite commands to ever exist, because it can be used to replace the items in your armor slots. Now, you can literally put any item in your armor slots, and sometimes with a lot of them it actually works. Exhibit A. Glass on my head. Now obviously in vanilla Minecraft, this would not exactly look the same, it's just because I have a resource pack on that makes the glass clear, but I still enjoy it because I have a glass helmet on my head. How cool is this? It's super fun for trolling too, and one of the things, this thing is actually pretty well implemented in the game, as certain things such as the end rod are specifically placed to where when you use the command, it puts it like this. I have a unicorn horn in Minecraft. Vanilla Minecraft. Come on! <laughs> This one is just super, super fun, and I don't even care about your opinion. It's not useful in any practical way in any version of Minecraft. It's just fun to look at and to look cool. So this is going in the S category. Very well implemented and very well detailed. Not to mention if it's a light source and you have Optifine, it does in fact light up the area around you. All right, and that is all the typing commands I have. A lot of those can be used in command blocks. However, I couldn't leave you off without at least one messing around with command blocks, in which you can use things like the summon command and summon ender dragons with no redstone and on repeat. So it indefinitely summons ender dragons. Oh god, what have I done? My PC's gonna break. Quick, break it. Ah, uh, this is... this is not good. Oh no. Dude, it's like that one scene in How to Train Your Dragon when like thousands of dragons just show out of nowhere. This is amazing. Anyways, uh, yeah, before my PC crashes, I'm gonna leave this world. Bye! Okay, I lied. You haven't quite gotten rid of me yet, but I don't really have any more commands. I just wanted to say thanks for watching this video. It's kind of complete random. I wasn't actually lying on that intro. I'm just kind of trying to come up with whatever sounds interesting that I think you guys might like to watch. But if you did like the video, make sure to let me know down in the comments and subscribe or whatever. I don't really mind. I just like bringing content, and it's fun a thing to do. So with that, that is my opinion on most of the commands and things you can do with commands that I like. Obviously, there are a bunch of more uses you can do, such as, you know, if you guys have heard of McMackenstein, he did a ton of two-part command, massive things that, you know, summoned even more command blocks and did crazy stuff in the game, but uh, I couldn't quite figure that out, and I think those are meant for older versions of Minecraft. So 
With that, I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Bye.